what's going to happen and that's what we'll do today we'll be hot loading and that's normally the case unless the guy is stopping for fuel too that's normally the case in most tanker bases you're going to be hot loading the retarder so i'm going to pull in here just like i did just now the difference is i'm not going to shut down but i'll feather the prop so it won't be a lot of prop wash on you it'll just be noisy so you need hearing protection so and i'm going to come to a complete stop feather the prop i'm going to lower the lower the door and i'll give you a thumbs up and i may even yell but i'm definitely going to give you a thumbs up to let you know that i'm ready to load okay and, and ready for you to approach the aircraft hook up and load and if you need to ask two or three times and double check triple check that's fine it's okay i mean again we're not in that big of a hurry that's how people get hurt so once you're hooked up i'm going to be watching um my my gauge for my tank for my hopper now if you now this aircraft can be loaded on both sides you probably notice there's a loading gate on each side so on the other side if you're loading one of these seats um, you have a gauge you have a quantity gauge of gallons in my hopper and you'll be seeing the same thing I'm seeing in the cockpit here you don't have one but again so on this side it's a little more important to be watching me because what I'm gonna do let's say I'm taking 700 gallons at about 50 to 75 gallons before we get to where I want to be I'm gonna raise my hand like this and then, and then I'm just going to slowly lower my hand when I want you guys to cut it off. And it's, you know, 5, 10 gallons plus or minus, no big deal. So don't worry about it. Again, don't get in a hurry. I'm just going to, yes, sir. Is that valve of the aircraft on one of the hoses? Which one of the two valves would you want to close? Well, you can close mine first, but if they cut the pump off, it's not that critical anyway, because you're not going to have a lot of pressure. Okay. When, I, when I lower my hand, it's for the for whoever's manning the pump to shut the pump off. Okay. So don't, not to close these valves. I'm sorry, I didn't specify that. Uh, is that how you guys have been training on the loading regarding signals from the cockpit? Or have you not done yeah, that Yeah, we yet? haven't quite got that okay, far, but we're, we're gonna go through it in the general fill-in process and yeah, working together. That's fine. So, yeah. so whoever's uh, controlling the pump, just turn the pump off when I lower my hand. And then there's no pressure here, so you can Close it. it doesn't really matter how you close it then, mine or yours. I mean, close them both, but of course, but um, just keep in mind, um, if this one isn't closed, when you pull your hose away, you're going to get a lot of retarding on you. <laughs> it's no big deal. I mean, it's just going to be messy, and you can, it's pretty obvious what's going on, and you have to close the valve. But, so just take your time, close them both, the pump will be off. So my hand signal is really for the guy controlling the pump. And then, then you disconnect, and I will not uh, unfeather the prop, that, which creates a lot of prop wash, and move away, taxi away, until you guys are well away from the tail and everything, okay? Again, I'm not, I'm not going to get in a hurry either. That way, it's, nobody gets hurt. And uh, so that's basically how it goes. Let's see, I, obviously, we'll be loading from this side every time today, right, Ed? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, we're going to okay. spin in here and load. So okay. we're going to do the, now we're shut down, and then we're going to do some subsequent.